other governments so if you are uh, dealing with any enterprise client their main focus is to data governance they wanted to understand how their data is moving and they wanted to know about uh, what are the the restriction they are going to follow so maintain the some uh, re restriction like gdpr pii how what are the plans to deal with those data so uh, in risk management here what you are doing is you are understanding the data so since this is a sensitive data so this data will be should see only the authorized person not uh, unauthorized person can see that data so to implement such restriction we will uh, discuss those things in the data governance section then the next step is data profiling so uh, here we under we will have been understanding about the data and we will profile the data so this data is a uh, based on the business use cases we will profile the data the next step is data management so in the data management uh, we will uh, understand how extremely we are producing the data the next uh, data governance step is discovery so moving data into any kind of data lake cloud based or either it is in cloud based or on premise so privacy and compliance as external government regulations migrations data to the cloud means that organizations need to need tools to enforce monitor report and uh, report compliances as well as ensure that right people and services have been have access permissions to the right data so these are the data governance uh, steps so to since you have the data governance implemented you know about the data and once you know about your data you can take a better decision and better risk management because we know what kind of data we have who are the authorized person to see the data and if we can understand if we have a pii data we have to implement a gdpr regul uh, regulation we can easily implement those things and regulatory compliance the same that we have talked about. so how we can implement the data governance so first of all the data is ingest into any data lake and then we will do the profiling classification and then we will do the linear and then we prepare the data that we are going to understand how the, the data is quality or not then uh, in the further steps it moves to uh, for data management section the metadata management catalog mdm master data management and then archival process these things comes under the data management and the next step is data privacy security and asset man access management so uh, this is the thing where you understand how the security things are going to manage here uh, where the data is present so it is in a physical uh, drive or it is in encrypted or how a user can access those data and then we have a proper audit how the data is uh, moving from one place to another place who are the right person that uh, those are uh, viewing the data is there a uh, authorized person or not so in data governance framework uh, the first step is data access management and in the data access management we will do resource management security framework and authentication and authorization then we will do the network security and then encryption so that these are the steps that we will cover in the data access management so the next step is data discovery so in the data discovery section what we will do we will do the metadata management 
and then search uh, if you are searching about any columns any metadata so you can do the search then access control and the lineage so basically in metadata um, we have a data catalog that maintain the metadata management it will take metadata from PubSub cloud storage and uh, BigQuery as well so this it is taking metadata from these uh, services and they put it into the data catalog they will provide you a UI where you can search your metadata and it also provides us the API where you can use programmatically in your system uh, also it provides us the lineage where you can easily understand how your data is moving from source to destination so you can easily track how the transformation is happening the next part is data classification and management so in the in this step what we will do we will do the data loss prevention master data management and so we uh, do the SCD slowly changing dimensions data retention and deletion so in real data loss prevention what we will do we identify the PII data or any subsequent policy that will be applied by uh, by the authority uh, by the policy so basically we will automatically DLP API scan the data and uh, based on uh, if any data matches to any PII or uh, any other policy it will morph that data to uh, a star so let's suppose if you have put out a credit card data it uh, understand this is a credit card data and it will be morphed from a star 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 in the same way if you are putting any SSS number or PAN number so it will uh, just morph the data so the next step is uh, in data governance framework the next step is data quality so in data quality what we will do we will do the quality man we have a quality metadata so in quality metadata what we will do we have a structure we define the structure format in which format uh, uh, our data will be there so how many nulls value you can uh, just identify the data quality threshold and then you can train decision makers uh, train decision makers on the semantic best practices of DQM creating a controlled data validation consistent DQM data quality management system will created under the quality metadata Next, the next is auditing so in it also comes under the data quality management based on that you can understand how which are the system that is accessing the data and cl in cloud monitoring alerts uh, also we can create um, any alert uh, based on the law and uh, to mitigate the risk the next step is building operationalize and data governance a framework that enables people to define agree and enforce data policy effective process to control oversight and stewardship over all data asset across on premise system cloud storage and data warehouse platform so the right tools and technologies for overseeing and managing data policy compliance these are the operationalized data governance and governance steps the next is a structure tag for business metadata so basically it is more about a data catalog so let's suppose you are doing a data ingestion and where we have identified some of the PII column we can also if we have any sensitive column and we have identified that column we can implement column level security so if we want if a person who is not belongs to see that information then if he do the select star from table he will not see that column 
so basically what we will do we will create uh, a, a method uh, in data catalog we will create a tag and based on the tag we will create a access grant and based on the access grant uh, tag we will provide the access who can see the column so if a person who is who has permission to see that column that person can only can see that column this is about uh, column level security also you can tag pii if we, any column has the pii information you can tag it if you want you can morph the data so if any person which is uh, sending uh, let suppose I take take an example of email id and this is a pii data we don't want to see that column to other person so basically we can morph that data to a star 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 and then only a user can see uh, he cannot see the exact text he only can see the star 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 the last is uh, the last part is uh, we have a technical metadata versus business metadata in data catalog so in technical metadata if you see we have table names table description column names and column de description date created when that column is created and date of modified and labels whereas in business metadata we have business owner it owner data classification data quality score data life cycle uses data life cycle stages and approved for use by data governance delete by or retain till date uh, table has pii or phi information or column has pii or phi information that comes under the business metadata thank you everyone